I mean, uh, in terms of Neopros, we might as well start with U18 Emirates because they've proven up uh, two of the biggest names, uh, Mogado and uh, Isaac Del Toro, the uh, Toro Lavinia winner from Mexico, obviously. Other than that, really, obviously, Isaac Del Toro is going to be at the Toro down under as well. So is Mogado. But are there any other names? I mean, Patrick's pretty high on Archie Ryan and the... Liege, Bastien Liege, under 23, winner for Intermarché as well. But Ewan, is there anyone you're looking towards? Emil Herzog uh, from Germany has, has been really promising over the past couple of years. He's moved to, to Borahansberg this year, was uh, riding for Hagen's Berman Action last year and the year before with the Borahansberg development team. He's making it to the World Tour level. He won the men's junior road race at the World Championships in 2022 and had a sort of barn summing season that year, winning the Ambuji Tour. Uh, he won the peace race for the junior level, as well as the Giro di Primavera. So I'm I'm really sort of hyped on Herzog to see where he's going to see what well, see what progress he can make. We have seen Bora Hansgrohe slip some talent under the radar over the past couple of years because they have had a lot of really promising international talent come in. But Herzog is a sort of homegrown. They've had him for a while now. They'll know how strong he's going to be. Similarly, in that setup, you have Hayek as well, who's been making his his jump up at Bora, but. I mean, there are plenty of other teams. I mean, Jumbo Visma, they've sweeped up, well, sorry, Visma Lisa Bike have swept up a, a lot of big talent. Pierre Strand Hagenes, I mean, we've spoken about him so much with uh, Johannes Stanamitet as well. They're making their World Tour debut this year, and we're expecting to see them at the Giro. So that will be really exciting to see how those young Norwegians step up to the plate. I'm going to say it again, but Francesco Bussato, like Scott Aluna to the 23 Liège winner, riding for. Intermarche. Actually, his schedule is already up, which is absolutely wild for a 21-year-old, but he's going to a lot of the Mallorca races, and then he's doing Stradi, Catalonia, Basque Country, he's doing the Ardennes, Tour de Suisse, Britannia Classic. The closest thing I can draw him to is he's a bit like, he's very similar to Brian Cockard. He's that sprinter who's rather insanely good at climbing as well. So that's kind of, I'm very excited to see kind of what, what he can do. Although I do fear that Intermarché have a lot of sprinting and semi-sprinting type talents. So hopefully he gets his own little niche there. Herstand Hagenens for Jumbo. Uh, sorry, there's Melissa bike. And, but again, similar sort of scenario. They've got such a world-beating classic squad. Where does Hagenens fit into that? Of course, he was the one of the Monster So he's of an exciting one to be looking out for as well. Darren Rafferty for EF Education Easy Post, alongside Archie Ryan, who I guess we haven't given him enough air time yet. But uh, yeah, Archie Ryan, I think he's probably one which I'm most excited about just because he's already dabbled in a little bit of like pro races. Like he's, and uh, he's succeeded in those already. So he's kind of set to take a, an immediate step up whereas sometimes you see with neo pros to take a year to really kind of bed in and, and get used to the world tour style of racing so i think that archie ryan could certainly hit the ground running at the down a down under we'll wait and see darren rafferty i'm not too sure i feel like he's kind of he'll exceed in some races but probably kind of still quite like a learning year what do you guys think about i mean we, we talked about del toro a little bit kind of mentioned his name what do you expect from him this year is you are you just so saturated with talent that he's not going to get anything they filled him and morgado both to the tour and under which is interesting that they've sent them all that way for their first world tour race it gives them a chance to see how they perform at the world tour level potentially and see what they can do in, in that kind of bunch and with that kind of opposition if they can stand out there then that's fantastic i think morgado in particular could stand out at um the tour de Lando with the sort of profiles that we're going to be seeing next week for del toro i mean i guess he's just going to have to try to find his way into some of these like spanish stage races and some of these um smaller stage races that are going to come up in, in the coming weeks maybe the middle eastern ones as well so he can go there and try to stand out and prove his worth within UAE because they've also got I mean Jan Kristen's just joined the squad as well. You got Finn Fisher Black who's looking to make it more of a breakout. Though he's not quite the pure climber that Del Toro is, but there's a lot of a talent there, and it's going to be hard to get a Grand Tour start in the next two years for one of these young guys because that team is just bursting with so much talent and so many leaders and so many valuable domestiques on their roster. Uh, yeah, and he probably won't get, won't get a Grand Tour, but like you said, like a, a Ruta del Sol, Valencia on a that kind of thing he'd be really good to to go towards one final name from me luke lamperty because he's at sudar quickstep which as we all know sprinters go to sudar quickstep 
or and their, their predecessors and stuff like that. And they usually turn out pretty good. So we'll wait and see what happens with Lampetti as their new sprinting talent. With Merlier, really, as their only other sprinter, I think that Lampetti will get enough opportunities. So I think we'll see him fairly consistently. So I'm quite excited about that. With the sprinters, you usually see that immediately. It's not like a climber who takes a bit of time to kind of improve. Like, the sprinters are like, immediately in the game, you eat or get a top 10. What about there's a few 18-year-olds as well electing to do a Remco, skipping the under-23 step. Um, the Center Senyans, I probably butchered that name. This is the rider that you guys were quite high on. Actually, no, he's not going up to World Tour. Sorry, 2025. Uh, <laughs> next year. But um, Belocchi, Markel Belocchi, the son of Yusibo Belocchi, is going to be riding for the EF Education easy post team which is the world tour obviously it's not the development team 18 years old i still think like a development year would have been good 18 seems very young to just get all starter and could be like burnout by the time you're 29 or is this ef education easy post trying to win the rat race with these youngsters <laughs> to not so he doesn't end up in movie star uae or yumbo my spanish rider yumbo and i know it's kind of it's an odd one. I just don't really expect anything from eighteen-year-olds as a as a rule, like even a pool. Just anything, absolutely. just nothing. Yeah, just um, they're literally no, no. But they'll no, just don't expect anything. I think even a pool was absolutely like the one in a million who you could expect something from in the first season, especially the ones that go to Ineos. Do not expect anything from them, probably for like the rest of their career, because Ineos will probably just kill them off. To be honest with you, oh sorry, like what's his name? August, Andrew August, Theodore Storm. In the same way that Michael Leonard is, has been has been murdered by Ineos. In the same way that Leo Hater has as well. They're all going to end up just shipping off to different teams because Ineos are absolutely awful at developing talent. So I'm sorry, but they are going to suffer badly. And tell me the last Ineos project, which has like worked out really well. Yes, Charlie. Boom. He's 19, it don't count. Ah, no, because he's just a time trial. He's he's a time trialist. Just a time trialist. These guys who are like, oh, because they're they're trying to forge everybody into a GC rider for some reason. I don't know why, they just do. They'll be looking to Mike in a Sheffield and try and make make him win the tour next time around or something. Like, honestly, won't surprise me. What about French names in terms of Alexis Four Post? At yeah. Antimalche, second place at uh, Bavala Dosta, was it? Yeah. Um, he was top 20 at Tour de Land. Let me double check. Yes, second place at Valadosta. Uh, was up there a couple of stages at, at the Baby Gino as well. We finished fifth place in GC. He's 19 years of age. He signed for three years at Antimalche. That's a decent French name to come through, and he's not signed for Group Arma Francais Déjà or Decathlon, which is interesting. What about the one you called the mini, the next coming of uh, Alaphilippe? Manier, I, I honestly I have no idea what to what to expect from Manier. He's ninety he's taller. And... He's taller than Alaphilippe. They improve it ten centimeters at least. Manier is kind of like a, I feel he's a bit of a slow burner. I think he'll be able to go. You have to wait like a, two years or something to see something from him. I don't think he's going to be the one to be hitting out the gates. Whereas. Found a plus. That guy's coming top ten at the uh, Bomb Bomb Two Challenge. That's what's going on there. I mean, yeah, yeah, that's like an immediate de facto. That's what's happening there. Just simple as. Um, other French talent. I don't know. Eddie Louis Tous. No, Nolan Mahudu. I, I've, honestly, I've never really heard of these guys. Antoine Hubi is going to Sudan or Quick Step. Axel Arons kind of mm. is stepping up to World Tour, the under twenty three champ. But it's kind of like a grey yeah. area because he's competed already for Alps and De Koenig in high level races. So it's kind of like a maybe, maybe not. But Axel Rons is technically making his World Tour debut. So under 23 world champ. Very excited to see what he can do. He should get his own kind of space. Van der Poel and Philipsen can't do everything, you know. Surely not. I mean, let me take you back to 2019, the Junior Worlds road race in Yorkshire. There's a Colombian rider who's at the back. He can't get his wheel, cries 
viral sensation. He's going to be a Pulte Cometa rider next year. Congratulations. Oh, he gets to wear that kit. 